Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing a part two on Jeffrey's F1 go-kart. And I know we haven't done a video on his go-kart in a while. That's because of this whole coronavirus thing going around, which is really screwing up plans for uh, a lot of us, I know. And so, luckily he's put in a lot of work in his go-kart, which is really good. And the work that he's put in, uh, from what I see, and I'll show you in a bit, uh, looks really good and what's nice is it's all the tedious work what I mean by that is all the body work like this thing was rusty and it's you know it need to be painted and luckily he's taking care of all that and we're gonna take care of some more of it today but mainly the mechanical stuff which is kind of what I'm good at and uh, that he lacks in so we kind of bring out the best uh, in both of us so that's what makes this project even more fun that we can both uh, you know collaborate on it and uh, Yeah, I'll show you guys the progress. He's made on the cart All right guys, so here's the cart these are the colors we chose to go with Kind of like a, an, a black with an orange kind of striping and scheme uh, Going and I think it looks really really good um, If you remember if you saw the first one This is the frame that the body sits on and so this thing has been transformed and it looks a ton better uh, than it did before. Especially here, it was like all greasy and rusty and even the underside, I don't wanna pick it up and show you, but just take my word for it, the underside is taken care of really well. All looks really good, um, you know, so we won't run into those rust issues and things like that that uh, hold us back and could, potentially like you know not be good for us so really glad to see this thing all nice one of the things we will have to take care of uh, today is the steering wheel as you can see he's got this pin that he's been trying to get out and so he's done a good job at it but he didn't have the right tool so he's been so the tool he's been using um, hasn't been you know it's kind of messing up the tool so Luckily, I brought a tool or two that should help. These uh, these are kind of the tools that he needs that'll fit right in there, and so he can hammer the crap out of this. So, you know, having these, we'll get off the steering wheel, put on new hub, put on new steering wheel, and then the rest is just engine, cables, pedals, brakes, etc., etc. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so I wasn't able to get off the steering wheel, but um, Jeffrey actually wants to, oh, he's doing it right now. He wants to spray paint this really quick so we can wait for it to dry. It's basically cracked. Um, the paint was cracking. It kind of like was clean. If you, if you imagine like cobwebs from, like, from like a spider, that's basically kind of what, what it looks like. It kind of spreads and went everywhere. And I was like, nope, I'm done. So. Why I just I had I had to go down and sand it all the way down to act to the plastic and then put that on there. So I'm gonna do a few coats of that also. Yeah, we're also thinking of spray painting uh, this part orange right here because as you can see the sides of the spoiler are gonna be orange while the center is black. So we want to get these little edges that kind of lead up to the sides of the um, the spoiler. So I don't. Oh. All right. So basically. We're going to open this guy, and then manual, no one cares about that. Got some tools, get that stuff out of there. Now we can take the engine out. Oh, I guess this guy's heavy. There you go, you got the engine. He came to see me. Get back there. All right, here. Hope not. So this is the engine base that we're putting we're mounting on. It's about six and a half, seven horsepower. And so yeah. All 
Alright guys, so um, I'm fitting up the engine right now and so I just put on the clutch. I need to tighten down this bolt right here. And so a problem we're running into is that the bolt holes and the mounting holes for the engine are not lining up down here. Um, and it's because of the pull start down here that we have right here. So it's hitting the spoiler frame and so we're unable to pull it more so then we can uh, you know fit it so then the bolt holes match up as well as um, the the pulley or the uh, you know the clutch to like the gosh what's it called the whatever this connects to a belt which drives the wheel we need to make sure that they're lining up properly so once we do that then if the bolt holes don't line up we're gonna drill new ones or figure out some way to uh, mount the engine to the chassis so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now um, the belt doesn't line up between the clutch and the big gear that drives the wheel that we're actually gonna cut this support support bar because um, I mean it's all it's holding is on the spoil all it's holding is the spoiler and there's already a, a second bar right here so we're just gonna cut it off and what okay geez dude <laughs> so yeah we're gonna move the engine so then we can get to this bar we're gonna cut it here to where it welds here and then we'll have plenty of room to line it up and yes yeah. And let's wait for Jeff here to get recording. That's like a dick, dude. There we go! This side's so ugly. I don't know what to tell you. We maybe had to solve that side also. You do that, I'll work on the engine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now that that's off, you can finally fit up the engine, mount it up with all the bolts, and get this bitch on its way, right? 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 Oh, yeah! Okay. Woo! I just mocked it up. That looks good, man. What do you mean? The bolts on the are on the engine holding it, but I didn't tighten them down. Because we still need to adjust it, so then we can um, tighten this so the belt doesn't come off, Jeffrey. What? We need to, like, once this is bolted in place, we need to move this back oh, so it tensions it. Yeah. Um. Alright, guys, so... Um, to put this all together, obviously the engine's easier to mount up, but um, in order to get the, the gear for the wheel to turn, um, I've had to put the brake assembly together, so I'm currently bolting, tight, tightening down all these bolts right here, which hold the, uh, the brake disc and the gear together, so then it can stop and go at the same time, you know, simultaneously, and then... Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to put in the new brake pad versus the old one, which we have right here. As you can see, there's quite a bit of difference between the, uh, the pads and the shape. You can see that the old one is in a perfect circle. It's, it's definitely warped and seen better days, and this one is just perfect. So, nice and new product that we're going to go ahead and put in, and yeah.
chassis. So we got that going now. So we basically just got the wheels up. That's awesome. Show them the entire like engine and brake assembly. It's basically complete. Basically we just put on the brakes right there. We got the basically got the brake set up more or less. Yeah, now we had to we, actually connect it to the engine. Um, but it's there now, and also the clutch and everything. So you got it up and almost up and running, but we don't have the pedals yet. guys so this is kind of a look at the the go-kart and the kind of the progress we've made oh my gosh it looks so good especially with like this engine on here like the all black just makes it look amazing here let's see if we can so we I need a Gavin to um, help me with bolting it down and also in the belt I would not been able to, get, get, um, to put the belt on. Tensioned. And for the tension part, because that was, no, yeah, I, I, I would have needed like one pull, one, um, one tighten, so that was really helpful. And then Gavin yeah, helped me also on basically getting the wheel, the brake, and the, um, yeah, the brake system, and then belt and clutch. Basically just tightened that down for me, and then after that we were able to um, put it on there. I wasn't able to film as much because, um, my camp, my thumb is out of storage. So, but it looks really nice, like in my opinion. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys like it. Um, and then, yeah. Dude, it looks so good. Look at this camera angle right now. Hmm? Come look at the camera right now. <laughs> That's like a vintage kind of like. Dude, I. It's gonna look so much better when. I that whole thing is cut off yeah off the sides yeah. dude looking at it is like oh it's gonna look so good it looks wrong like right now how long it with is? how long it is yeah dude i know it's gonna look so good oh stay tuned God. stay tuned uh are we gonna make any more progress today question um most pedals aren't here um i guess the um I mean, for all cables here, I guess we could hook it up to at least the engine part. But even then, like, I don't know. Um, Should we mod out the engine? You can do that. All right, let's do it. This is going to be it for today's video. Uh, we made a lot of progress. Um, something we didn't end up filming was that we did stage one mods. Actually, we did... Oh, shit. Okay, so we actually need to do one more thing to complete stage one mods. Where's that little fuel jet that you got? Is there stage two mods, which is fat better? Yeah, but I have stage one, so. Stage three better? There's four stages. How about stage five? Nope, sorry. Stage four, like, oh my god. Hmm? Oh, is this off? All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed an episode two on the F1 go kart. Honestly, each episode we make a good amount of progress. Like, the first episode, we like completely stripped the entire oh, that's, thing. That's, that's the easy part. Just yeah, get yeah, get that shit out of here. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's mostly together, especially like the engine. Now it's just all the little hard stuff, I think. You know, all the little, like figuring out how to Next make time, the make pedals sure and. Do more of the stuff because it's probably gonna be like, yo! But this is like the area that I knew. Like, you can do the rest. Well, this is supposed to be like, you show me, then I do it. I know, but we wouldn't be this far if I wasn't taking over. Well, they're, they're gonna say, oh, we have till next year. Fuck. So, yeah, so... I'm not gonna graduate you, yeah. Damn, dude, this thing looks so good. I'm excited. Alright, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I, th I think I already said that. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Well, I'll edit it so I just see one. And, uh, looking... I hope you guys look forward to seeing more videos on this. We'll make more. And uh, 
We have a couple of people that want to ride it, so we'll get their reactions once it's all said and done. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content.